and a mixed day on Wall Street to begin the trading week. The Dow finished down more than 20 points to close at 20,881. The Nasdaq was up 14 to finish at 5,876. And the S&P 500 was up almost a point to end at 2,373. Market analysis tonight. Todd Peters is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Todd. Hi, Mike. So the markets, uh, our markets, appear to be stuck kind of in neutral today. Uh, what was driving this uh, lack of conviction today? Yeah, there were no key economic reports for investors really to feast on today, but there are several macro issues looming. The biggest, of course, are the kickoff of the two-day Fed meeting tomorrow, which will culminate in Wednesday's decision whether or not to raise rates. There's also the possibility this week that Britain will file that Article 50 papers that formally starts their withdrawal from the EU. And then finally, there's a primary election in the Netherlands this week, which could set the stage for that country to also exit from the EU. Some have dubbed it the Nexit. So all of these things, I think, are causing investors to basically just sit on their hands until there's greater clarity. Okay. And uh, as we wait for that clarity, uh, one thing that seems to be relatively clear is that the odds are favoring a rate hike by the Fed. Uh, what are investors looking for from the Fed? Yeah, I mean, right now, the market's pricing in about a 90% chance that rates will rise when they make their decision on Wednesday. I think what investors are really going to be focused on is the language in the press conference afterward. Is the language hawkish, meaning that uh, are rates going to maybe go up maybe quicker and further than what uh, investors are expecting? Or is the language going to be dovish, which uh, basically says they're going to move at a more gradualistic pace? Right now, the market is pricing in two to three rate hikes this year. All right. Uh, on another front, Intel made a major acquisition today, Merger Monday. Uh, what was it, and uh, how did investors like it? Yeah, chipmaker Intel announced they're going to be uh, buying an Israeli tech company called Mobileye for just over $15 billion. Now, Mobileye makes these chip-based camera systems that are being tested in self-driving cars. And it's pretty apparent from Intel's bid today that they see some tremendous growth potential in this market. Mobileye stock jumped 28% today. Intel's was actually down about 2%. There is so much interest and competition in the autonomous driving market these days. No, you're absolutely correct. Heavyweights like Tesla, Alphabet, which is the parent of Google, Uber, and BMW are all throwing a lot of capital into self-driving car technology. I also think that because Intel missed out on the boom in the smartphone market, that they don't want to let this purchase pass them by and miss perhaps another great growth opportunity. We'll see how it goes and uh, hope you get to work from home tomorrow. Todd Peters of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks as always. You're welcome, Mike. Good night.